in their last three events. Valerie Condos giving her team some well-deserved praise. Meanwhile, the gym dogs are all smiles as they march to vault and prepare to claim a title. But look out, Alabama's still in the hunt. Some people have allergies, they sneeze a lot. Others get an itchy, runny nose or nasal congestion. Me, I had it all. So I said to my doctor, enough already. He prescribed Flonase nasal spray. Multi-symptom Flonase. Once a day relieves all nasal allergy symptoms all day and all night long. For any or all of those nasal symptoms. All it takes is Flonase. For best results, Flonase must be used daily. Maximum relief may take several days. Side effects are generally mild and may include headache, nosebleed, or sore throat. Call to learn more. And now kids as young as four can use Flonase. For nasal allergy relief, ask your doctor about multi-symptom Flonase. When you get it all, all it takes is Flonase. When I was a kid, my father made me dig up all the dandelions, and I hate them. Ken made a promise to me I wouldn't have to pick dandelions when we had our own home. <laughs> Ken puts on the Scott's Turf Builder Plus 2. The dandelions go away, and you never even see where they were because the grass grows in thick and green and rich. It takes a very short time to see the bright green come up in the grass. One easy application, no dandelions, gone. This lawn is our pride and joy, and we wouldn't trust it to anything but Scott's. I hate dandelions. If you can do this, you can make wood beautiful with Minwax. And if you can do this, you can give wood lasting protection. Turning a house into a beautiful home is as easy as turning to Minwax. Back at Pauley Pavilion in this last rotation, Georgia moves to the vault. ASU is on the uneven bars. Alabama's on beam, and Florida takes the floor. Well, the gym dogs have all kinds of ways to relieve stress. Sometimes they write poetry about the competition and read it before the meet in a dark room. Here's a listen. We've been in L.A., living large. Now it's time to go take charge. Greg Mars' team is the youth, and all we can say is who gives a hoot. Then comes the Florida Gators, and we all know George is a Gator hater. Today, when we finish bars, we'll have them seeing stars. When we're at our bye, their tears will start to fly. Together, enthusiasm, attitude, and mental toughness. Been a winning formula so far. Georgia just a few gymnasts away from a perfect undefeated season. Here's Kathleen Shreves. She'll vault a Yurchenko with a half twist in a laid out position. A great start. So much depth on this Georgia team. Shreves just a freshman from Dayton, Maryland. You can see she gets good push off the horse. Wow, look at that, a 9.95 for Kathleen Shreves. That's Shane Murphy on the beam for Alabama. Two back handsprings, immediate back layout. Just a slight bobble. Switch leap, there's quite a big bobble. Immediate jump, again, those little bobbles all add up. Alabama will not be able to catch Georgia with beams like this. They almost need to be perfect at this point. Again. This may come down to a question of hanging on to second for Alabama. A nice jump combination. Ah! 
called a Rudy. Shea Murphy fights through the wobbles and stays on the beam. Florida's Betsy Hom on the floor. Good double back. Hom is one of the impressive freshmen we've seen here at these NCAA championships. She's just 17 years old, graduated early from high school so that she could join the Gators this season. She gets a lot of practice at home, too. They've got a fully equipped gym up in the attic of her parents' home in Wisconsin. 15-year-old twin brothers, Morgan and Paul, top-ranked gymnasts on the USA Junior team. Florida right now in fourth place. But if Alabama and Arizona State falter, they could move up. Go get it, Kim, out! There you saw it right at the end of the routine, the Gator Chunk. You see that in a lot of the Florida routines. And for her efforts on the beam, a 9.60 for Shea Murphy. Betsy Hom gives a boost to Florida with a 9.9. .9. And Arizona State has faltered a 9.35 for Megan Wright on bars. Her problem came on the dismount, a difficult one, laid out with a full twist, but too short on the rotation. The Sun Devils came into this rotation in third place, just behind Alabama. Let's see if Kim Kiever can salvage this rotation for Arizona State. It's a big release move to Kachev. Toe on handstand, full twist. Setting up here for her dismount. Laid out. Oh. Again, the same problem, under-rotated. She releases the bar a little bit too early so she doesn't have the height to get around. Kiever scores a 9.2. Overall, a disappointing performance on the bars for the Sun Devils, and this rotation will cost them. Still to come, senior Kim Arnold with a chance to clinch the title for Georgia. At Pennzoil, we've discovered that it's not the kind of engine you drive that matters most in motor oil. It's the way you drive. You stop, you go. You stop, you go. You stop, you go. Imagine how your engine feels. The next time you change your oil, ask for Pennzoil, specially formulated to protect your engine from stop and go driving. You okay, boy? Stop, go. Pennzoil. Before I quit smoking, I asked my doctor, is Nicorette gum safe? And he said, to quit smoking? Of course Nicorette gum is safe. Smoking is not. People smoke to get nicotine, and they get carbon monoxide and tars, which are deadly. Smoking is the danger. Nicorette can be a big part of the solution. Nicorette lets you use nicotine when you need it to help you overcome your cravings. Don't hesitate for a second. Nicorette gum helps you fight your cravings, your habit, your way. You can do it. Nicorette can help. Bill McAtee at LPGA International in Daytona Beach, Florida, coming up the final round of the Mercury Title Holders Championship. Yesterday, a charge made by the young Swede. Car and Coke, this for Birdie at the 17th. She's never won in four years on the tour. Another Birdie attempt at the 18th to tie for the third round lead. Coke was tied with Daniela Macapani, and this is a Macapani today, getting it to 13 under par. And she is our leader by one shot. A Macapani at minus 13, Coke at minus 12. We'll be back here shortly. We are in the final rotation of the NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championships. The Georgia Gym Dogs on the verge of capturing their second title of the 90s. Kim Arnold set to vault for the Gym Dogs. 
and she is more than capable of coming up with a huge score. Very dynamic vaulter, Fukuhara in a laid out position with a full twist. And that should do it. A good score here will clinch it for Georgia. Takes a lot of push off the horse to be able to rotate and twist. A 9.975 and a near perfect way for Kim Arnold to cap off her Georgia career. Back to the beam now, Alabama fighting for the runner-up spot. Here's Gina Logan. She scored a career-high 9.9 on the beam at the regionals. This is pretty much the only event she competed in this season. Gainer back handspring, back handspring layout. Tiny bobble. She's concentrating on keeping her hips and shoulders square over the beam. Gainer layout. Big mistake. Well, the beam claims another victim, and that will drop Alabama down in the standings. Susan Hines can pull the Gators into second place with a good routine here. She is the last competitor for Florida. Tuck double back. We talked earlier about the SEC and how powerful it is in women's gymnastics. Coach Judy Markell said she felt her team was emerging from Georgia's shadow, but that it's helped them to compete against teams like Georgia, Alabama, and LSU. It's made them tougher. Good, strong run. Front full to his immediate punch front. Susan Hines, the only junior on this team. She'll be back to provide a lot of veteran leadership for this young Gators team. Nice job. Gina Logan's score of a 9.3 closes out the competition for Alabama. And Hines with a 9.925 moves Florida into second place by just five one hundredths of a point. And now to wrap up the championship for Georgia, the last vaulter, Karen Litchie. She does a very difficult vault. Pike front with a half twist. Normally very explosive. Oh! <laughs> Karen Litchie making sure there is no doubt who the champions are here in Pauley Pavilion. She gets an incredible angle and just pops right up off the horse. Wow. score for Karen Litchie. A fitting conclusion to this perfect season for Georgia. We'll be back to talk to the champions after this. Price it smart, we'll sell it quick. Isn't this law fabulous? Thanks. You know, millions can see it on the internet, but it only takes one to buy it. It's worth every penny. Don't worry, 
I won't let the cat out. I've got two offers today. I've narrowed it down to these five. Looks great. Hey! Anybody hungry? Only ERA has this tool. It's designed to help you keep up with industry trends. There's a big difference between working with just any real estate agent and an ERA real estate professional. Yes. If you're ready to sell your house, call for the name of your local ERA real estate professional today. ERA Real Estate. We're selling houses. CBS Sports presents the NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championships. Sponsored by ERA Real Estate. Proud sponsor of the championship series. Pennzoil, specially formulated for today's stop-and-go driving. Stop, go, Pennzoil. And by Pringles. So fresh, once you pop, you can't, you can't, you can't stop. Here are the final standings. Georgia wins the championship. Florida finishes second, followed by Alabama. Let's head over once again to Wendy Hilliard. Here is the NCAA champion, number four for you. It's got to feel better than last year. Oh, absolutely. It definitely feels better. And these girls are just terrific. This is the, the most exciting team, the most committed team. And they have earned it every step of the way, the entire season, undefeated. Congratulations. All right. Now we have the senior of this group. Kim, you really came through this year. It had to be a very good feeling to end on this note. It was so awesome. Everyone just did so great. I mean, we worked hard from day one all year long, and it's just it's the best team I've ever been on. Everyone is just so close, and we did so awesome, and we're so excited. Yes, they are quite excited, and to be honest, you all finished with the 10. There is no way to finish this competition. Karen, what a way to go. I mean, the team behind me, people before me set me up. I mean, it's just a great team, like Ken said. And, you know, I love each one of them. And every step of the way, we've been working hard. Well, congratulations to the NCAA champions. All right. Thanks, Wendy. Julianne, your final thoughts. Well, what can I say? They were the best. They really stood out. They put it all together when it counts. And that's what this sport's all about. And it has been a memorable season for Suzanne Yachlin as she gets a hug from her husband, Sam. And a reminder, coming up next weekend, the ERA Women's Professional Gymnastics Championship at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Golf is next on CBS Sports. It's the Mercury Title Holders Championship from Daytona Beach. Once again, our congratulations to all the outstanding competitors here at the NCAA Championships. For Julianne McNamara and Wendy Hilliard, I'm Andrea Joyce saying goodbye from Pauley Pavilion. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the NCAA Championships. With a career like hers and a face like hers, what prompts her to say... It completely screwed my head on backwards. I 60 Minutes Tonight. It was the motion picture that showed us the meaning of love. Now from Love Story author Eric Siegel. New Bausch & Lomb Computer Eye Drops revitalizes tired eyes from computer strain. See how it New Bausch & Lomb Computer Eye Drops. The following is a presentation of Turner Sports, which this year brought you cable television's coverage of the 18th Winter Games from Nagano, Japan. And this month is the exclusive cable host of the fourth Goodwill Games from New York. The world descends upon Gotham. A city that intimidates and astounds. Where men can be made to feel small and awestruck. But where dreams come true. The 
these athletes have dreams that reach as high as skyscrapers. And they can hardly wait to showcase themselves on the grandest of world stages. They are names we know and faces we've come to love. They will soar. They will fight. And they will fly over these next two weeks and make New Yorkers notice. The Goodwill Games begin tonight on the Superstation.